everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads, and today's tutorial is going to show you how to use our new Eva beads in a fun jumping jacks design to make this empire necklace. We're going to be working with one size 12 needle, some bar beads, as well as the Avas, and then some crystals of your choice. I'm going to be working with briolettes as well as bicones. If you need the materials to do the empire necklace, go ahead to the beginning of the video, gather your materials, and to join me to make this fun, fancy empire necklace. So to begin our jumping jacks pendant, we have five feet of beading thread that is on a size 12 needle. And I have a 15-0 seed bead that is going to be not included in my project that I'm gonna treat as a stop bead. This bead will eventually come off the project and I'm gonna leave about 10 inches at the tail of the project. That way I have enough to attach my clasp and my chain uh, to the actual piece of jewelry. I'm taking the thread through the bead, the needle through the bead, two times, which is going to expose two times the thread on the outside of the piece. And that's going to basically stop the piece from falling off. I'm going to begin the piece with our two hold bricks. So we have two hold bricks, and then I have four millimeter bicones, 15 OC beads, and to start our Eva beads. As we continue, we'll be getting the piece section, the front section of the piece, larger by adding in some drop briolette crystals as well. But to start out, we are going to begin by picking up one of our two hold bricks. And I'm using the um, I'm using the uh, the teal pearl coat in that two hold brick color. That's going to go along the interior of the piece. Coming out of that, go ahead and put a 15O on your needle. And then we're going to put on an Eva bead. The Eva bead is a two-hold V-shaped bead. We're going into the bottom of the V. So it's V rather than shaped like an A. So we're going in near the base of that V and coming out one of the legs of the piece. As we take the thread and needle through there, coming out the top of the piece, we are going to be adding a 15, then a crystal, then a 15 seed bead. After adding those items, go down the other side of the Ava bead, going down towards the base of that V. That's gonna pull the crystal right into the middle of that Ava, and that's just gonna hang out there at the top for a little bit of extra bling. Coming out that Eva bead, add another 15, another one of your bricks, and then another 15. Let that all go next to the Eva bead, and just kinda hang out there. From the bottom here, we're gonna add in another one of our Eva beads. And this one again, we're gonna hold like an A this time, but we are still going into one of the legs and coming out towards one of the openings. Along the bottom here, at the start, we're going to repeat using the bicones. What we're gonna do is graduate it, making the bicones be the starter bead and then get bigger going into the drops and then um, into the larger briolettes as well. After you have on your seed bead, crystal seed bead, I want you to go back up through that second hole of your Eva bead and out through the top here. Now you already have a 15-0 on, but that 15-0 is the stop bead. So I don't wanna use that. I'm gonna add another 15-0, kind of push that stop bead out of the way and go into just that brick. If you don't have bricks handy and want, you could also use two bars in place of the bricks. You could also use some IOS beads. Super Duos would give it a little bit of a different look, um, but you could try that out as well. From here, go up through that 15-0, through the leg of the Eva bead. So we're kind of spinning around here. Through the 15 Briolette 15. Down through the Eva, the 15, and the brick. So you're gonna be ending or exiting on the bottom side of the brick. That's gonna be closest to the bottom Eva bead. Go ahead and add three 15s. Go up through that brick there. And that just decorates kind of the top of the brick so you don't see any thread. Because I'm using green thread, you really wouldn't see the thread anyway. You're going to add three more seed beads and then come down 
through that brick on the other side. From here, to get into place, to get ready to add our next of our Eva beads, we're gonna go through those three seed beads that we just put along the bottom. If you want it to sit in a nice point, you can skip the middle bead. That'll actually make more of a triangular look. And then go up through that brick. And as I come out the top of the brick, you'll notice that we're ready to put in our next Eva bead. So to put in the next Eva bead, we're gonna add a 15-0, just like we did at the start. Our next of our Eva up through one of the legs. And then towards the middle here, add 15, bicone 15, and then come down through the other side of the Eva bead. Give a little tight yank. Add another 15, and now our next brick. Another 15 after the brick. And you can see that's going to end up facing upward. Add your next of your Eva beads again through one of the legs so you're coming out towards the opening. 15, crystal, 15. Let that all go down next to the clasp, or next to uh, the bead. Go through the other leg of that Eva bead. And then as I go through the other leg of the Eva bead, I'll come up through the Eva, and I want this to flip so that way it is going to sit right along and touch almost going along the piece. After you're coming up the leg of the Eva bead, keep in mind that that second, or that third brick rather, that you added, you're not actually connecting onto the second hole. You're going back and connecting on to the second brick that you added. So you're gonna take your thread and needle up through the Eva, and as you come out that top of the Eva, I want you to add one more 15, and then again we are going to link into that previous brick going up through the brick and coming out towards the top as you come out the top of the brick it is going to be a repeat now over and over again for the next couple rows to get those evas in line getting that kind of jumping jack look and going through and connecting so you're doing a lot of these connection points now and once we're gonna, once we have uh, five of our Eva beads that are connected along the sides here, or I'm sorry, four rather, so we'll use eight total, then we're gonna progress and use some of the larger beads as we get towards the center so we have that nice graduated look. So go ahead and add on two more groupings with just the bicones, and then I'll show you as we start to put in the briolettes. So as you continue now to add in the larger sizes, what we're gonna do is add a 15 onto our needle, just like we would and just like we've been doing. And instead of adding in the bicone um, on both the bottom and the top, we're just gonna add the bicone at the top. And we're gonna use the smaller briolette, that's gonna be the uh, five by eight millimeter briolette at the bottom to create a little bit of a drop. So at the top, I still want you to add your 15 crystal, 15, come down the Ava on the other side. And if you haven't noticed yet, this would be a really cute bracelet as well. You can also um, change it up a little bit for a pair of earrings also. So there's a lot of uses for this. Yes, I'm doing it as a necklace with the drops, but you can do it as a bracelet. You could do it as a pair of earrings. That's kind of up to you. Along the bottom here, as I pick up my next Eva bead, that's when I'm going to go ahead and use 15 drop 15 instead of going in and putting the bicone. Remember, this is the smaller drop. And then as we switch to the bigger drop, we're gonna use a smaller drop at the top instead of the bicone. So to make it even kind of more of a statement. I'm gonna repeat this four times. You can see I have the four drop crystals here that I'm gonna be adding in. And then I'm gonna switch from doing the drop at just the bottom to the drop at the top, and then the larger briolette at the bottom of the piece as well. So I'm going in here, 
and we'll pull this one tight and you can see the change that the drop gives just to add a little bit more bling and a little bit um, more of that graduation look to the piece. So go ahead and repeat this same thing, adding this in four times. So you're gonna do four times with just the drop, and then we're gonna switch from just the bicone at the top and the drop at the bottom to that smaller drop along the top, and then we're gonna add the bigger drop along the bottom of the piece. That's really gonna enhance and make that graduation even larger and a little bit more blingy. So just to show then as you continue to go, once you get done with your four drops, and you can make this count any number of um, rotations that you want, obviously you're just gonna need two Eva beads per drop section. So I have four of my actual bicones, then I did four drops, continuing the bicones along the top. When I switched to the bigger drops, I put the smaller uh, briolettes right along the top, and I'm gonna do this for a series of five because I want it to be an uneven number. So I'm gonna do five more, or four more rather, um, with those large drops at the bottom, the smaller drops at the top, and then continuing back to the downgrade, going back to the smaller drops, and then the whole way to the bicones. That's gonna finish up then the whole rotation and the um, gradient of the actual necklace. And then we'll go ahead and get ready after adding in those bigger briolettes and then downgrading to the smaller briolettes. We'll get ready and we'll add some chain along the back of the pendant and I'll show you how, or the back of the section of the actual piece and I'll show you how to go ahead and do that. When you're finishing up the empire necklace, what you're going to be doing after you come out of kind of that jumping jack look is you are going to be just like you would be adding another uh, one of your sets of your Evas on. After you're done with those bicones, we're coming out of the last brick. Having decorated it with those three beads, I'm going to add two 15s, and then we're basically going to cap the end of the design before we put on our chain. Add on another Eva bead. Coming out the Eva, I want you to add on three of your 15s, then one more bicone. After the bicone and when you're coming out of it, grab one of your wire guards or your wire protectors. If you want a more substantial look to the back and you don't want to use chain, that's when you might go in and actually use um, some beads along the end that you could finish out because you have plenty of bicones left in your tube. You could use the bicones. I'm using the wire guard and going to finish up with chain. Going into the wire guard, down one side and down the other and then back through that bicone, making sure as you're coming back through the bicone that the thread sits right in the channel of that wire guard. As I do that and come back through, then I'm going to repeat adding three of my 15s and go down through the Eva bead, or the Eva bead rather, on the other side. Do a nice little tight grab and a tight pull and make sure you don't have any extra wire showing. Now I want to reinforce this because um, I don't want just one piece of thread around the wire guard. So go ahead and add two more of your 15s. Go through the last of the bricks and then back up through and reinforce that whole thing. So basically back through all the beads through the 15s up through the 15s before the wire guard and before the bicone, through the bicone, through the wire guard, and then back down the bicone. I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other side. And when I do this on the other side, I'm just gonna take off my stop bead and basically repeat these steps. As I go around then and finish up reinforcing that. I'm going to come down on the other side of those three seed beads along the opposite hole of the Eva and then come back into the project and simply knot off the end of my thread. When I knot off the end of the thread I am going to take it back into the project removing a little bit from the end so I don't have the knot right along the end. I'm going to go back through that last brick here coming out that second hole and then I'm going to grab onto a bridge thread or one of the threads that connects a bead to another bead 
making a loop, then I sew through the loop. I'm going to make that loop a little smaller, sew through that loop one more time, and then give a nice tight pull on that, making sure the thread kind of sneaks between two beads. That way you don't actually see it. And then I'm going to go up into the project a little bit further. And I'll take it back a couple stitches, making sure I'm not exposing the thread anywhere. And then once I have it back a couple of those stitches, I'll bring my needle out of the piece. Take my thread zap or thread burner and go right along the edge then, kind of leaving a little bit of a tail. Burn down the edge of that thread so you can see it kind of sticking up there. I'm going to take my thread zap or my thread burner and just go right in and make that end flush. The nice thing is I'm using that um, teal color with the green thread so you're not going to see it. You can see that gives a nice kind of capped off look to the end of the piece as you're wearing it. Necklaces are hard to get into the full frame so I'm just going to kind of turn it a little bit but because of the shape of the actual bricks and the way that we're connecting them with that jumping jack look for this empire necklace um, it's going to make it really easy to bend and to turn the necklace. You can make this any length that you want and you can graduate it the same. You can stick to bicones along the top, just do all little drops along the bottom. So you have a lot of options when it comes to the actual pattern that you want to do. Again, it's even nice just to do the whole thing with bicones. Switch up the colors, you can really make it look different. Like in the original kind of little sample piece that I did with the actual Aztec gold, and that um, teal color with the gold, it gives it a much softer look as well. So keep that in mind. I went a little bit darker for this time of the year with a nice kind of green um, holiday look. So I'm going to go back to the other side now and take the stop bead off, decorate the end of that last brick with three beads, go through three beads, come out the bottom, and then repeat that same thing, adding in the Ava, the Eva bead as well as the three seed beads, the bicone, through the clasp and back down, reinforcing and connecting to the end. The last thing I'll do then is take some jump rings and attach to my chain. And the chain length that you need is obviously going to depend on how long you want the necklace to hang. I like a larger chain like this because at the other side of the lobster, I can actually make it that it has almost an extender chain. So the piece itself, when I'm looking at it, is right about nine inches if you're doing the exact same pattern. If you want it to be an 18 inch necklace, you're gonna need about eight and a half feet of chain by the time you add your clasp. You can attach the with jump rings. You could also, if you wanted to, have put it on right onto your wire guard and attached to the chain that way. I'm gonna use some jump rings, attach the chain, and then finish up the necklace after completing the other side, adding in that same look of capping off with the Eva bead. Thanks so much for joining me and watching and hopefully creating the Empire Necklace. Again, if you need any of the materials, go back to the beginning of the video to where we have them listed, as well as below the video near the subscribe and the like button, there's a list of the materials and the colors that are used in the actual description of the video. Keep in mind you can stay connected with us by subscribing to this YouTube channel, checking out our Facebook groups, as well as our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. It's an awesome community designed to make you a better beater and help you in your creativity and your creative quest. As always, thank you so much for watching and have fun creating the Empire Necklace.